Hello teachers, my name is Chelsea. Welcome to my tutorial on TED-Ed. This tutorial will be divided into two parts. In this video, I will be teaching you the basics to using TED-Ed. If you wish to skip this orientation, simply click on the annotation. It will lead you directly to part two, in which I will demonstrate how to create lessons with this program. You may be thinking, what exactly is TED-Ed and how does it benefit me as a teacher? TED-Ed is an educational platform where teachers and learners can go above and beyond with lessons worth sharing. With over 1,500 TED Talks and over 46,000 flips, TED-Ed allows learners with curious mind to discover meaningful videos about the world around us. Interested? Well, before we get started with TED-Ed, we need to create an account. To register, click on the button in the top right corner. The registration process is free and requires you to simply fill out your first name, last name, email, password, and the security check. This is also where you can choose to sign up for TED email updates. TED also provides the option of signing up with Facebook. Your TED account enables you to create and organize video-based lessons for the classroom, discuss with the TED community, receive notifications about new videos you may be interested in, and all around gives depth to your TED experience. Once you have created your account, TED will send you a confirmation link via email in a matter of seconds. Clicking on the link redirects you to a page where you can fill out additional information. Doing this allows TED to cater to your interests for fields of teaching. Once you have selected your desired fields, click on the button which says Continue to TED. This is your homepage. Let's get accustomed to your way around TED Ed. As you can see, the basics are in the right corner. They include a tour of TED, a link to their blog, information about getting involved, frequently asked questions, and information about TED Ed. Anything I fail to cover in this video will probably be found here. Clicking on notifications shows you a brief overview about your activity on TED, which includes lesson updates and discussion updates. Your profile is what others see. Think of it like a Facebook profile. Of course, you can choose who gets to see it and also which information you decide to put on it. If you wish, you may upload a profile photo. If you wish, you may briefly describe your career information. If you wish, you may also include a biography. The content you decide to show is entirely up to you. Clicking your account gives you access to your personal information. Settings is where you can change and choose your notifications, the fields you teach. It also shows you your lesson and discussion updates as well. Clicking on your name shows you your activity on TED-Ed. Clicking on TED leads to TED Talks, which again, you can personally cater to your interest. And in my opinion, there's videos for anyone and everyone. Clicking on lessons, series, community, and clubs 
organizes videos and information to make your TED-Ed experience pleasurable. And finally, this is your search engine. Well, I guess that sums up my brief tour. Stick around for part two where I show you how to make lessons and use the site. Thanks for watching. Bye.